Centuries-old churches and palaces have ornate stone floors that took craftsmen decades to create with chisels and other hand tools. Today, factories can produce similar elaborate designs in a matter of hours thanks to computer-guided machinery. These floor designs are so intricate, it's hard to believe that each component is an individually cut piece of marble, granite, or other natural stone. Whether the design covers an entire floor or is a single decorative insert, the starting point is a stone slab. It's massive, but extremely thin, so it's actually quite fragile. Workers use a pneumatic suction hoist to position the slab onto a cutting machine table. The machine is entirely computer guided. It cuts with a jet of water. The water contains particles of garnet, an extremely hard gemstone. The jet cuts by eroding the stone, rather than by sheer force, which would crack it. Workers rinse away the stone grit and abrasive residue once the cutting is finished. They use suction cups to remove the cut pieces one at a time. They've cut squares for this design. Some will go into the floor as is, while others go onto a smaller water jet machine, which cuts them into intricate shapes. Workers extract these smaller pieces with tweezers. Every component of the design has a number. Workers label the back of the corresponding piece accordingly. Then, they print out a life-size version of the numbered design on a sheet of durable polyester film. They tape it to the assembly table to serve as a template. Then they lay one piece at a time, front side down onto the template. Like a puzzle, the design slowly reveals itself. Once the design is fully laid out, they tack the pieces together with glue. This keeps them from shifting or separating. They lay fiberglass mesh over the entire assembly. Then they prepare an epoxy resin specially formulated for stone setting and spread it evenly over the mesh. They let it set overnight. And the next day, they sand it flat. The cut stone design is now bonded together in a solid unit. Now they can safely flip it face up. The final step is to fill the joints with epoxy grout. Then wash off any excess with a wet sponge. This ornate cut stone floor insert is finally finished.